it's me Alona again I'm back so today it's gonna be a different lesson na i-share ko sa inyo okay gusto kong i-prepare ko kayo okay gusto kong i-prepare ko ang future nyo especially may mga babies kayo may mga siblings kayo in your home at uh, just to prepare you financially kung ano yung kailangan natin when it comes to raising your babies or your kids at home now just to give you uh uh, idea kung ano nangyayari dito sa western country, okay? Right now, about 40% dito sa western country, Canada and US, my shortage ngayon sa formula milk, about 40%. Mga shelves ngayon sa mga tindahan is almost empty with the formula. Uh, four days ago, I went for a steak, uh, just a short um, travel to city. We stayed for four days in the hotel so that I have time to shop around the city. Guess what? When I went to one of the biggest stores, grocery stores dito sa Canada, biggest na yun ha, nakikita ko sa mga shelves, halos wala nang laman yung formula shelf nila when it comes to formula milk. Could you imagine doesn't it scares you knowing na ang yaman ng bansa namin dito, ang yaman ng Canada, ang yaman ng US. Although the economy is going crazy right now, mayaman, mayaman ang Western countries. But yet, my shortage kami sa gatas. How much more kayong nakatira sa Philippines na isa sa mga countries who are struggling sa ekonomiya natin. Paano na lang makasustain yung mga nanay ngayon na walang choice kundi bumili ng formula para lang mapapadere sa baby? So how you gonna prepare that? Na knowing na ito nang nangyayari ngayon, biruin nyo, I was shocked. Uh, kaya ko rin kumanta sa inyo ngayon, sabi ko, i-share ko talaga ito sa inyo. I was shocked uh, four days ago kung na nung nasa city ako. Could you imagine? Isa sa biggest grocery store ng Canada. Halos wala nang laman yung mga shelves. Not just milk, okay? Hindi ko kayo na scare. Not just milk. Pag pupunta ako, pag, nung pumunta ako sa cereal sections, halos wala nang mga cereals. Halos konti na lang yung mga baby food. Um... Pumunta ako sa mga shelves ng mga asukal, uh, mga baking uh, ingredients. Halos wala nang laman. I was scared. Like, I, told, I, 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 was, I was pushing my cart habang nag-grocery ako. Sabi ko, tapos binibilang ko na lang kung ilan ilang na lang yung natirang pack ng, ng sugar o ilan na lang natirang pack ng diaper. I was just imagining myself sa sa sub, sa yaman ng bansa ng Canada nagkakaganito kami and this is happening uh, it's been since mga November since November nagumpisa na ako magstock up uh, noong November nung nakikita ko nang slowly uh, the supplies going down um, ang inflation dito ngayon could you imagine ang inflation dito ngayon umaabot na ata mga 7.8% sa taas ng presyo ng mga bilihin namin. I'll just give you an example, okay? Um, yesterday, I mean, uh, during my shopping in those four days, sa CD, bumili ako ng spring roll wrapper. Just a spring roll wrapper na normally, binabayad ko noon was uh, about $3. $3, so that's 120 pesos. Binabayad ko noon. Guess what? Magkano ngayon ang spring roll wrapper? Nagdoble siya ang presyo. Bumili ako ng isang uh, jar ng alamang kasi nagmagkare-kare ako. Alam niyo ba dati ang presyo ng jar ng alamang is only 120 pesos. Dinoble ngayon. Nagiging, uh, I think, 440 pesos. Something like that. Dito yun ha, dito yan sa Canada. Alam kong iyan ang nangyayari sa ating bansa ngayon. And for those of you 
na you're budgeting your money ngayon uh, sa formula na binibili nyo while also some of you siguro walang time magawa ng solid food you rely on buying prepared uh, solid food sa mga department store such a big savings pag kayo na mismo ang gumawa ng sarili yung pagkain para sa babies nyo now you may be asking me this anong gagawin nyo kung sakasakaling mag shortage na talaga tayo sa formula do you have a backup plan na gagawin mo in case wala na tayong formula um, in my time marami kami magkapatid my, my, my mom never never uh, breastfeed uh, number one um, well, hindi siya marunong mag breastfeed wala nagturo sa yung breastfeed so lahat kami mga siblings, eight kami we never breastfeed alam yung uh, na, naalala ko sa mga younger siblings namin na ako yung taga-alaga minsan noon and then taga-timpla ng gatas I remember uh, during that time wala kang, walang, walang mga kung ano-anong powder, powder milk, wala eh so when my, my mom we just ended up of feeding us uh, ibak milk uh, dilute it with water and then put brown sugar and then sometimes kung may konting pera condensed milk which is uh, made from coconut milk and then put matamis na yun eh, so you don't have to put sugar in it we have survived um ganito kami ngayon <laughs> so I'm just my utak <laughs> I grew up healthy uh, but think about it. Those those were the days. Yun yung yun yung mga sinauna. What are we going to do now? And I was I was thinking last night while I was lying in bed and what I saw when I was shopping four days ago. I was imagining myself. This is only April, and the inflation rate is climbing up a high, very high right now. Anong gagawin natin? What are you going what are you going to do now? Kung sa kasakaling short na tayo sa formula, kung sa kasakaling short na sa diaper, kung sa kasakaling wala na kayong makikitang solid food sa mga paleng uh, mga supermarket, I don't think we could ever maybe time will come we could ever have shortage of our own food. But if we have the initiative to magtanim ng magtanim ng magtanim kung ano yung kailangan natin sa bahay and you save a lot of money by doing that. Um, nakakatakot. Kaya gusto kong i-share sa inyo kung ano yung experience ko. Shortage of milk, shortage of baby food up to 40%. Oh my God! And it's only April! And um, so, I'm gonna ask you this. Kaya kung sinishare sa inyong video na to, if you are formula feeding ngayon, do you have the ability to relactate? Ibig sabihin, mag-try na mag-breastfeed kung, kung kaya mo. Um, just to prepare. Uh, it's not too late. Again, um, tayong mga, mga babae, we can teach ourselves to make milk. We can teach, kahit gaano katagal, we can teach ourselves to make milk. We can do so many things to make the milk. Now, isa ba yan sa option mo sa kasakaling mag-short na ng milk? So, you need to plan ahead. If you your baby is still needing the milk one more year, two more years, maybe you can stock up kung kaya ng brusa. Uh, other options, uh, maybe do something now bago maging worse mangyayari later on dahil <sighs> it's happening people. Uh, kaya ko sinishare sa inyo dahil I was scared nung four days ago nung nasa grocery store ako. Nakikita ko, sabi ko, my God, sabi ko sa sarili ko before itong mga shelves na ito punong puno ng mga formula. Pero now, mm -mm, and daily products ngayon is going up sky high. So, you need to make sure you have a plan. How can you uh, sustain and survive? Pamilya mo, baby mo, and yourself. 
this uh, crisis that we are having right now, sa formula lang, um, sobrang mahal. Diyos ko po, ang mahal-mahal. Uh, I'll tell you this, um, um, dahil na nakikita siguro yun sa video ko, okay, I drink milk, I drink, uh, um, what do you call this one? Hot chocolate. So, anyway, I bought a Milo um, the other day sa city. Uh, a big can of Milo. Before, um, Milo, siguro mga siguro 400 lang yung ganito, mga isang kilo. Almost na doble na ang presyo. But I bought it. Why? Kasi baka wala na akong mabili in, in few months. Tatlo na lang lata ang natira when I bought it the other day. Ngayon, kung hindi ko yun bilhin, baka pag, pagbalik ko in the next two months sa city, because I live far away from the city, baka wala na. So, I made sure, I bought it. My husband said, buy it. Dahil baka pagbalik mo, wala na. Wala na. So, another thing na sinasama na napansin ko, um, I'm, a, I'm a juice drinker. So, I drink orange juice, whatever. Dun sa tang namin dito, supply ng tang namin dito, powder, halos wala ka na makikita sa mga stores. Mm -hmm. Dahil ang tang namin dito is mostly like galing sa galing sa US, California, dahil marami silang mga oranges. Ngayon, nasunog yung California, wala na silang mga mga fruits, mga may drought. Kaya, everything is like a domino effect. Kung anong nangyari sa isang western country, affecting other one. What, what's up, uh, up, uh, happening in Asian country, also affecting western country. Kaya, you need to make a plan. Mm -hmm. It is important. You have to have a plan a family plan sit down with your kids with your partner with your husband you have to do to make a plan right now because if you have no plan right now and you just gave birth think about it when you gave birth itong baby na inalagaan nyo ngayon okay itong anak nyo ngayon inalagaan nyo yun you need to count about 300 to 350,000 pesos until this baby that you're taking care of until the age of 18 years old. Yan po, based on research, ang expenses ng isang baby from 0 to 18 years old, expenses from dental to hospital to, to diaper to food to everything to lahat for 18 years. Ngayon, what's your plan? How are you going to do this? Dahil it is happening. It's scary. It is happening. So, think about it na kailangan nating magplano. Okay, kailangan nating magplano. Kailangan nandiyan si Mr. May intindihan. Um, when you're doing your family planning, you have to make sure kung, kung when, when's the next time you want to get pregnant again and have another baby again. You need to plan that ahead. Dahil mangyayari at mangyayari na Ma marami akong mga pasyente na um, after 3 months, 6 months, after um, nag-heal na yung sugat nila, buntis ulit. So, you have to be very careful kung ano yung plano ninyo just to survive. Kasi mahirap, mahirap na ngayon ang buhay and it's gonna get worse. Not just for our country, but sa buong mundo. So, that's why I'm sharing this video. Thank you for watching. Continue to subscribe. Marami pa akong mga videos na yung share sa inyo. Be watchful. Think about what's what's gonna happen ahead. Be prepared and do the best that you can na magkaroon kayo ng sarili nyo um, sources of uh, food sa bahay nyo. Grow your own, make your own, create your own, and, you know, raise your own. That's my JMRC rule. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Bye.